Here I am, brown as a beer. It's 26th of April today, 2023. And I decided to do a little daily life video here in Italy. What I usually been up to. If I'm not traveling, <laughs> there must be something to do. There is, of course there is, of course there is. Depends on how I feel. Sometimes I'm lazy to do anything. Yesterday I didn't go out from the territory at all. It was starting a little bit raining, although I had a sunbed on the balcony in the afternoon. But now I'm planning to go out today, not with a Vespa, but with an electric bike. So I can go slower, I can see around more, because if I go with Vespa, I have the helmet on and all these things, it's faster, you know. So with the electric bike, still exercise. But, check this out. I have no space anymore, and the one fridge in Estonia is also full so I have little space here left perhaps I can move them like I've done in many uh, times before not here but actually he also here yeah you can't keep the spaces between I don't want to have them too thick because I have this door like this here so I have to open two doors to reach the fridge I have some Calabria, most of them here are Italian ones. I took most of the Italian ones from Estonia. Macedonia, Bulgaria, there's Hungary, 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 and the new ones are down here. Yeah, well, Belgium there, yeah, Cefalo, all right. And the freezer pot is also full. Here we have some Sicily, Albania. Meteora in Greece, Palermo, Al another Albania one, Sicily, Ragusa in Sicily, Albero Bello. Okay. Pots and pans. But now you can see the mountains. Oh, the sun is so warm here. I was about two hours over here. Having a coffee, reading a book. Got my spray here, so it's not getting too warm. It's a nice day. So now you can see the mountains. Some snow on the top. Now I decide to go to town, see I can uh, is it possible to swim or maybe on the downside it's too windy, I don't know. I can feel there's a little bit of wind. But just in case, I put my usual pants on. This is my swimming pants. Oh, let's go. Let's go down. Enough of staying. It's nice to stay in a balcony. But I do want to go around. Small cat is here. How you doing, Michi? Oh, this is called, actually, I call it tippy. No pee pee on a, and a poo poo on a sofa? No. Unless I do something bad to them, they won't hurt me. But now, let them be, let them be. I will leave the doors open here. Because it's not going to rain for sure today. Got my water ready. And there we go. Let's go, cat. You want to go to the city? Yeah, so two days ago when I turned my video on the terrace it was dark, but now there's some daylight so you can see how things are here. The sun is coming here in the morning and in the evening. I see this side is windy. The other side is so hot there. It's very hot. Didn't even try my hammock yet this time. You know, only back to Italy about three, four days. You keep following me, cats. They do, they do. They're not hungry now. They had some food. Yeah, but this is the boy I'm taking out. The Engie bike, Engie? Engine. Engve, I don't know. And this is the old small one. I have a Polish sticker here on the other side. It should be Lithuanian one. Yeah, there is. Uh, here. It's a nice one, but uh, today, too much work with this sun because of the hills. All right, what are you doing, guys? I'm going out, and not for five months. Maybe they think I'm going away for five months again. 
Who knows? Citrus. We have some bugs in here. I don't know. This is isn't not good. So it's not easy. The gardening. Oh, and this coming on. That's nice. All right. Let's go to the city. Oh, everywhere I go around here has some beautiful views. San Nicola Arcella is somewhere there where I went two days ago. As uh, the main road. It's nice, interesting to ride with this bike. Oh, it's going good. Like I said before, somewhere it's going about on this kind of road, even more than 40 kilometers an hour. So it's a really one. It's like a thousand, thousand watts, I think, or kilowatts. The small one is only 250. So this is the perfect for the hills. Whoa, steady. Turn it down. I like to pedal also. Battery is good. So every time I'm going to the town. I'm not taking a shortcut now because you have to brake too much there. So this is a good way. If you don't brake, the speed goes really high. So I don't want to push my... Well, now I'm going very slow because I haven't been here for a while. Now this is a town center. Two days ago, I didn't go to the much of the city center. But soon I will. Uh, today I'm going slowly. There's also a nice area to walk around. Not everything is green yet. going 22 that's nothing but the first time it's quite big what a speed I think it's only about two kilometers down a hill there's a petrol station there they done the Better road. Back at my viewpoint, I always stop here before going down. The day is sunny, two days ago was cloudy, so it's a much happier view now. Few people there, but waves are very big so i'm not gonna try to swim today although i do like to play with waves sometimes but uh nah i would leave it as it is now came to the beach i love the nice waves well actually this is nothing you know you can swim at these ones it looks like a beer a few people swimming oh, the coastline is uh, so so long and I do like actually these pebbles so you can sit even if you don't have a towel and these are more fine there but they get very hot once it's very very warm even now they are very warm but I stayed enough in the Sun I want to stay also tomorrow so I'm not gonna lay down here I got rid of my lines here pretty much so I'll keep it that way ah oh, it's nice blue sea mountains in Scalea they will open up soon here as well so you have few free places to stay you don't have to pay bring your own towel but you know some people want to stay all day they have only short holidays maybe five weeks a year and then they just want to chill here stay a week 
I rented my place out a couple of times last year. I've done some Airbnb. This year I will do a little bit also. It's also very, very interesting. I've done it also in Tallinn, my apartment there a few years ago. So feedback's good so far. And I'm staying somewhere up a hill. Ah, I love this beach. It's going to ride around now. Didn't lock my bike, left my wallet in the bag there, left my phone in there, left my doors open in my apartment. So cats can go to the internet there. Right, let's carry on. Now it's of course it's riposo, so called Italian sister time, about from one o'clock till about four o'clock. So it's very quiet in the city after five is crazy. So first uh, two days ago when I came home with the Vespa, it was just after five and I got very busy and you know? <laughs> I was like it's the end. I, only the first day of riding Vespa, so I had to be really careful. Also want to look around, you know, that's a thing. Mountains everywhere. And I'm living very close to the very well next to the this is already the Polino National Park, the biggest one in Italy. And there's another one nearby. So there's some stunning stunning views and roads there. I want to go back there very soon. I have a few day trip with the Vespa. I love this alley. They're gonna peel the park there. Somewhere there is a Conant, you need to spar, you were a spin supermarket. There's a bus stop, you can go to Cosenza. The hotel's here. So you have to pay for all this parking here. I think it was free before, but summertime you get so crowded. Especially the August is the craziest month. Because I live in the summer complex there and I don't usually have many neighbors around. So there's never been like every door is occupied. At the moment, well the weekend was a few days ago and yesterday was some Italian national holiday. So there were more people. But now I have only, I think two, two neighbors, not, not next to me even. So it's very quiet, but I do like it quiet. There's no traffic, just cats. So what's happened with the diesel prices? 171 is diesel, let's say 172, and uh, petrol is 182. It was about the same five months ago, I think. Yeah, maybe 160. But it, with Vespa, it's very cheap to go around, so that's good. I love these beaches, the Lidos, Lidos, Lidos everywhere. Just going outskirts of the town a little bit, hardly using my electricity. So I like to pedal. Very good. Very comfortable. Oh, the good old London bus. Last year, I think it was all closed. So I don't know about this year. I don't really go out to pubs much here. Because I do like my terrace and stuff like this. Of course it's nice to go out actually meet some people and stuff like this. It is important. But I do like to stay on the terrace there. And, and drink a beer on the beach. I can put some ice packs here. And I got a moving fridge. There are some camper parks here, loads of hotels. Summertime in Scalea, you expect to pay like 100 euros per night. Just when I arrived, uh, about four days ago to Napoli, I was curious to see how much are the hotels. And in Booking.com, 99% it was showing it's booked. And if you want a hostel room with six beds, it will cost you 125 euros per night. 
Wow. <laughs> well, luckily my train arrived or plane arrived in a good time, so I didn't have to spend the night there. But sometimes I do spend the night because not all they always the uh, flight times are suitable for me. Also, Scalea is an airport, but it's a small one because uh, winter time not many people visiting, so they don't really have any any. Uh, I think I don't know if they even have any flights around here. Yeah, who knows? There's the other petrol station, 172, 189, let's say, for petrol. So diesel is a bit cheaper. Okay. Very good. Let's see what's going on here. Sometimes people are stuck, uh, stopping me on the road and asking me, hey dude, where did you get this bike? Well, they say this is Italian, so I'll probably say it like this. <laughs> I believe so. And I said, yeah, go to the... I think it's W, that one. They have a website there. They're still sending me a lot of stuff. There we go. Angrybikes.com This is EP2 Pro. And the bag was separate. There's another one he's going to ask me now. It's not for sale. 70 euros for this one. And the whole bike, I think that time was uh, a bit of discount, and it was thousand euros. So I think it's a good deal. Yeah, good bike, very comfortable. Got uh, seven gears here, so now I'm hardly using any any electricity. I just want to cruise around a little bit. All right, where am I now? I want to check out this abandoned complex, but. Not to go into much, just want to say it again. I love this. There is a video about this already on YouTube, although I didn't go to the second floor. Let's see where it is. All right, I decided to go a little bit closer. Although you have a surrounded gate, but I found a way in. The easier way than the last time. This was abandoned, I think, about. I can't remember exactly now, I think it's been over 10 years, there was a big storm, so all this construction came down. It's uh, some sport complex with swimming pool, but uh, I don't know, they haven't redone it, and it's still like this. But this is a little bit of outskirts of Scalea. Ah, this is one of the villages I went with Vespa last year. But I didn't walk from this side, so I still have things to see here. I can't even remember. I had to uh, do have a video about this on YouTube. But I can't remember what I was talking, so the water's still there. Yeah, you can have a swim here. Pigeons them there. Yeah, so this is not too old. Sport and relax. That's a Volkswagen 2012. There's a number plate. It's probably the fake one anyway. So it's been like 13 years. Get a room. Still have some things you can find out exactly when was this actually abandoned. So this is the first time I'm on the second floor. Main highway is there. Pool view. Floor is in good condition. Oh, 
Well, it looks the same like the other one. Well, that is the second floor. Not much here. Ah, oh, there's some toilets, I think. Newspapers. Just the field. Some another beer here. And there we go. That is the pool area. Wow, it must have been a big storm. Of this coming down. Women's bathroom. This is how it is. This is the only abandoned big house. I know it's Calea. My favorite one is in the, when I show you on the top of the hill in San Nicola Arcella. So, yeah, it's a big one. I still have things to explore there. And that is a car. Sport and relax. Building looks very good. Uh, you have old ice cream things here. Oh, that's full of water. No more ice cream. And the main entrance. Let's get back on the road. There is the hilltop village where I went last year with my Vespa. I think it's called the Meliera. Oh, I had some kefir. It's been a while. I think last time I had kefir was half a year ago. I don't drink milk and all these kind of things, but uh, kefir is good. So I got some shopping done now. I bought some vegetables, vegetables mostly. I bought some strawberries again, some plums, some uh, everything, for everything. So I got this bag here. So I need to know exactly how much I buy when I go out. So now it fitted perfectly. Of course, I had to go to Terra Nova, which is also there. So I bought some some pants and a top. It's very cheap. My God! Wow. All right. Now I'm heading back to Tovat's home. It's still very hot. I love it. Beautiful. It's about 20, 22 degrees, maybe today. The sun is very nice and warm. So I had plenty of sun today. I'm slowly heading back home. Uh, Nice Euro spin. Very good. Very good vegetable prices they have there. Nice one. Also some bananas I have. And some blueberries. I still have some, but yesterday or the day before I bought some blueberries from there and they were so good. So I decided to have another go. And some fish things. Don't want meat to eat at all. I love this diet in Italy. It's perfect for me. Nice weather. I, uh, I eat. I eat so little, but I eat enough, just enough. I don't want to starve myself. Right here is the main city center. I'm not supposed to ride my bike here, but I'm not going to there. I'm just going, going around a little bit. Souvenirs, one euro is very good. It's quite a lot of souvenir shops in the town, at least five of them. Pharmacy. That's a nice place. 
right behind me is the old down start. You can't go there with the bike really. Just going through the main center. Alright, there we go. Another souvenir shop. There is another one on the main street. And we have a city center petrol station. Now this is a nice for the gelato. I rarely have that one. Now it's nearly about five o'clock so traffic will come on so it's a good time to go it's really nice and relaxing in the afternoon to ride around or walk around there's a big car park here restaurants after restaurants had to stop for the kefir 89 cents, it was an offer. What do we got? 480 grams. Mm. It's still cold. I'm nearly home now. I just love these views and the quiet. There is San Nicola Arcella town. Mountains all around. Uh, Polina National Park. Uh, need some calcium. Let's have one more. Mm. It's a dream come true. You miss that stuff. And the bikes are, well, the bags are like this. Still a little storage here, you can put some stuff. And you can extend this piece here, so this bag is absolutely perfect. When I didn't have Vespa, I also took my backpack, so I could buy uh, many things. But before I only had a small electric bike, so I could only take a backpack. And you imagine go up a hill when you have uh, not, uh, not so much power. So that, that was the exercise. But I hardly used any electricity today, and I don't know how much I rode. I couldn't put it on a zero, so I'm, I have to check it out how to do it later on because I didn't use this bike for a long time, so about uh, half a year, and battery is still full. Very good. Now it's time to sit down, eating my strawberries. It's red like the Vespa. Only one ninety nine for a nice thingy. I'm not a big fan of strawberries. Usually I, I buy a couple of them and then after this. Not really. Oh, it's so nice here. Now the sun is coming to the terrace. Nice and quiet. Cat is somewhere there. The strawberry cats. Alright guys, this is my daily life here when uh, getting dark then I will have a beer and who knows what else I'm not doing really any any other much work now in computer because I work from the computer but so I just arrived here so this is a little spider I just arrived so I'm gonna take it very very nice and easy and eat uh, fragola yeah cats are getting hungry smaller one bigger one is very quiet unless the male comes oh then she's really wow all these things the cat things Laying down, 
Very good. There's a lot to learn from cats. Just chill. <laughs> Do nothing. Eat strawberries. That's it. All right, I'm gonna put my stuff away. Don't want to sit here alone for the moon's out. Wow. All right. Oh, finally, I can stay in my hammock. I forgot how good he was. Sun's behind a corner, and Cat was looking at what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> He's following me. This thing actually has pillows, but I forgot. I left them outside. Well, upstairs, I mean. I'm gonna have my things ready here, because once you're up there, it's too lazy to get somewhere and bring some stuff. So I'm gonna try this beer now. I had a large portion of minestrone. It was very good. And this I had many times before. It's a classic Italian beer. 4.7% is 660 mil. And it was only about... I don't know, there was a... About this, there was a video, I think, two days ago. Uh, a little bit over your... pretty good this is how it should be when it's warm and usually 4.7 percent for me is not enough but in the summertime or what's going on here what the hell are you fighting again I don't know what's over there. maybe there's a male get there whatever yeah, so 4.7 is very good, but it's also now, it tastes very nice, but so many beers I tried, not only Italian beers, you have them in summer, or you have, oh wow, this is very good, this is very good, I used the beer application, beer application called Untapped, so you can put all your beers there, what you've been drinking, put the score, put the comment, so maybe after one year or something, you're going to want to you see that, oh, I remember this beer, but I don't think it was very good. So you can check your application, application, when did you drink it actually, from where did you buy it, if you if you put this information in. So this is very good. Untapped. Very nice. You can put ciders there, also, if you like ciders. But yeah, in winter time, this maybe doesn't feel half as good. Because summertime, you know, summertime is very good, the beers, light ones, you know. Even the Peroni I drink in the winter time is like, hmm, I don't know. Summertime it tastes better, but that's how it is. Depends how cold it is, depends how thirsty you are, all these things. But I, I bought this many times before, so it's great hammock beer. Ah, nice light one. I do like the Italian beer. And the sunset is here. It's going down to the sea, that's very beautiful. Good. Still drinking my beer. It's a big one. Before I end today's video, I will have one of my favorite beers, which is from Sicily It's called Messina Usually when you buy this from The pop they will turn the bottle around because they ha it has some uh, Crystal salt It doesn't taste really salty, but uh, it's really a really nice one it Used to be 159 euros in the Supermarkets now is about 179, but it do have some offers This is perfect. So the guys who have been visiting me also here, they all love this beer. One of the best ones. So now I turned on the lights on the terrace. Beautiful blue sky and this is very bright. I bought them from Amazon. Maybe 30 euros only I paid. So hopefully they will last long. And normally I have this light here and that that is all already enough because this is street lighting and i have one of the light poles there the purple light 
but I rarely use that one. Oh, but this is this is very very bright. That's nice. So some of you guys have been requesting me to cover some topics, maybe about beer, about my travels. So yeah, I will do this because uh, now I have some more time. I'm not going to be visiting any other places. I mean, outside of Italy for, uh, well, you never know, because sometimes my ideas are like, you know, they come and go. But if I have opportunity to do it, I will do it. But now I just want to lay low a little bit. And if you do have some questions, some things you want me to talk about, and then I will try to answer. So, see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.